So I got out to my spot. I want to do some flying. It was dry all the way here. A little drive getting up here. It's not too far, but dry all the way here, and I get here, and it's sprinkling. It's raining. I want to fly. I want to fly the, the wizard. I've been programming some modes over the weekend, playing with some different modes, some guys. Uh, air mode, because uh, they've seen some of my videos where I'm flying, they call it angle mode. So you have your, your gyro, or your accelerometer is helping you keep flat. And since then, I've been, try I've been playing with acro mode, which uh, I believe acro mode, you know, I just have it open, so I don't have any fail safes. I don't have any angle mode, none of that. Um, but yeah, no fail safes. It's pretty tough, but it's fun. Um, and the problem I had before was I was uh, I had the motor stop feature enabled, so my at zero throttle, my motors were were stopping, which is is, is neat. It's not cool for for landing and things, but you don't have control when you're at zero throttle. And the guys mentioned air mode, so I've got air mode programmed in there. I tried that over the weekend. Um, it's fun. I like it so far. A little bit different than just open mode. I'm noticing it handles a little different. It seems to float a little more. So I'm still getting used to that. Uh, I'm not sure if I like it more than just open acro mode, you know, with no fail safes at all. I have my accelerometer disabled, so I'm not using that. Nice for beginners or, or maybe line of sight flying when you're not using your goggles. But I always use my goggles. That's what it's for, basically. That's the best way to fly it. So yeah, I, I have that all disabled and I have my switch. I got a, uh, my arm switch and I have a three-way switch on my controller that I have set up. I'll show you since we can't fly just yet, but sprinkling just a little bit. I just don't want to do it. I don't want to, I want to get any moisture. I don't want to chance it. But yeah, I have my, so there's my switches. I got uh, my arm switch and so the three-way switch up, that up switch is, um, that's just your wide open, I believe that's what you call acro mode. Uh, no fail safes, there's no settings in, on that portion of the switch, not just blank. Um, in the middle is air mode, that activates air mode, and the bottom is that FPV angle mix. That's that one, not sure about that one yet, I may, may just get rid of that. But uh, that's the setup, I have them on the right because I don't want anything on the left because that's my that's my throttle, and I don't want to I don't want to ever have to take my finger off that. I don't have to move off that to go flip any of these switches. So these are unused. So I've only used them the, the two up here. The one danger of that of having that that close there if you're switching mid-flight, um, you gotta be careful. Especially got your goggles on. Don't accidentally hit that one. That's that's your motor kill switch. It'll be down while I'm armed but don't flip it up like that, accidentally reaching for that switch because then you're gonna come bombing out of the sky. But, uh, so you just gotta be careful there. I'm, I'm gonna use it that way. I think that's, that's how I like it. I just really careful when I go up to, I'm probably ever, hardly ever gonna use it because so far I like that just open acro switch, no fail safes. Uh, air mode's cool, but still getting used to it. Uh, and I've heard the negatives about it, you know, about landing and stuff, it can get hoppy. Um, haven't experienced that a lot myself. I don't think I've actually even tried to land in air mode yet. I just land in full acro. I find that the best. I actually find it easier to land that way than using the um, angle mode, which has your accelerometer, you know, your gyro and everything keeps you flat because then the thing's keeping you flat and you're trying to come in. And, and of course your, your camera's angled up a little bit and it doesn't let you, you try to push down, it's gonna flatten you right back up. So it's fighting you the whole time. I like watching Steel. Hey, shout out to Steel, man. That guy, he was crazy. Um, but you watch him land when he comes in and he'll, he'll almost kind of bank it and, and drag one, one arm, one leg, and, and, tell, and then you just kick the, kill the motor and just drop it. So as soon as you see a leg touch the ground, pow, kill your motor and, you're, and you just pop right there. So I actually had a few cool landings like that. I've, I like doing that, uh, getting, getting good at just landing, just dead solid, no bouncing. And it seemed like every time I would try to land in uh, with uh, any fail safes like angle mode or any of those, it, it pops around. Even air mode, it hops around from what I'm told. I haven't tried yet. But uh, yeah, 
I had one this weekend. I just pulled right in, had my goggles on, and I, I saw one leg touch, and, I, and it just, boom. I mean, there was no shake or nothing. I think that was pretty cool. I like to do that every time. But, but that's my setup right now. I think I'm probably just going to try to stick with open acro because from uh, listening to what Steel says too, that's what he does. Um, there is some uses for air mode. I've heard he used uh, air mode like when he's using his tiny whoop, um, doing different things for that because I could see there might be some cases. I like air mode. And I like it wide open. I'm not sure which one I like best. Just need lots of practice with that. And But like he mentioned, when he's trying to put, you know, place stickers, do things like that, uh, get up right up close to, to, to a building, you know, doing his dives. That's where air mode can kind of fight you from what I understand. So I like doing that. I want, I want to do it real, no fail safes. So very tough, but that's the way you do it. You may be able to get to fly. I don't know now. It's getting darker, but no rain. So I'm going to put a pack on doing the flips and the power rolls. I wanted to try some power rolls this weekend. Got some of these trees up here. Maybe some of this stuff down here. I like flying down in there. You've seen some of my videos where I cruise through there and go through some of those trees. There's some, some nice runs in there. Come back out and, and come up top here. Lots of area to fly. This road shoots way up there. Shoots way down there, around the corner. You can see the road way up on the hill there. And that's all clear up there. This was all a burn from uh, about two, two or three years ago. This all burned and they've been reseeding it and treating it. It's actually quite amazing what they can do. There's some blue sky popping up there. We might get a couple runs in here. Man, I want to fly! It's cold. When I fly, I've flown like this cold. I try to bundle up a little bit. You can actually hear the motors oscillating my throttle when I cruise. <laughs> try to hold still, but whoo, it's cold. But I still want to fly. Not too cold. It's uh, 38 degrees. Cold enough. Looks like it's kind of cleared. I might get to fly. We'll see. Uh, I still need to get a GoPro or a run cam to put on top of there so I get some onboard footage. I've already had, I wish I'd already got some of my footage because I did some crazy stuff over the weekend. That was pretty cool. Finally getting my dives and my all that. Yeah.
you, you. The goggles aren't bad either. Some complain about them. There is around the nose. There's a little gap there, but I don't really mind because I can look down if I need to. I can see through the crack. I can look down and see my controller. Just barely. Ooh, my batteries are getting a little low on my controller, so I'm gonna take off. Thought she had fallen down. All right, just did a power roll, almost power rolled right into the freaking ground, just barely saved it. So we'll try to do a little bit better this time. Hit myself diving. By the way, that last takeoff and landing was in air mode. I didn't even realize it. it seemed fine. I'm actually kind of liking air mode. I'm staying in it for a while. Definitely more floaty, I think, if that's the right word. It doesn't seem to drop as fast, which that's pretty cool. You can hang. But then I could see where, yeah, if you want to dive really fast. Maybe you wouldn't want that. I don't know. It's like it didn't quite do what I wanted it to do, diving, but maybe that's my fault. Definitely seems more floaty, yeah. Like I can sit up in the air without any throttle longer. I can just float. Seems to anyway. Now let's go back into full acro. Wide open. Now when I dive, I don't know, I can't quite tell. But definitely seems to drop faster in full acro mode. Like it's almost drops out of the sky, even though. I've got idle up set, or idle set on uh, motor arms. So the motors are still spinning. Maybe I need to turn that idle up a little more, 1035. I've seen UA Futures has his on like 1070, something like that. Maybe that's why he has it idle up a little faster. And he didn't have air mode. He just had, like I had it set. He's pretty much just doing open mode. Like he sets up a key for open mode and angle. And angle is of course your, that's when you have your accelerometer and gyro engaged, keeps you flat. That's pretty cool. Well, yeah, drops a lot faster with no, no um, air mode. And that one all the way down, the FPV angle mix, it lets me flip around and stuff. 
just not quite sure what the difference is yet. Maybe I'll see about diving. Yeah. Seems to be a little slower, kind of like air mode. Like I'm floating up there a little bit. Yeah, maybe. Now let's switch it to open mode. It's more shaky in the air in open mode. Oh, I can't quite tell. Better land, this battery's about to. I'm in open mode right now. Land and open. Come right in here. Maybe we can get this on camera. Let's see a nice little landing here. Nice landing. Come on now. Come on now. And stop. Booyah! Not bad. Not bad. Not the greatest. I couldn't tell which way I was facing. Not the greatest, but definitely not the worst. Well, that was fun.